foreign, foreign nat nationals, nationals marrying South Africans yeah, for yeah. citizenship. Yeah. Before you get married, mm -hmm. they take you to the no <laughs> back home. They'll have the main wife, and then when they come the side, you turn out to be the side. <laughs> mm. If he goes to work, will be will he be okay? Yeah, will he even come back? Yeah, you know yeah. who allowed them to come into South Africa without papers? Definitely hate um, yeah. um Zimb Zimbabweans. <laughs> now his girlfriend. <laughs> was snatched from him <gasps> by a Congolese oh. man. That guy hates foreign nationals. <laughs> beautiful people welcome back to another episode of love beyond borders and if you are seeing this gorgeous face for the very first time my name is Serame and I am South African and on today's episode I have a lady her name is Mbali and she's South African and married to a man from Zimbabwe and if you're not sure where Zimbabwe is it's right next door South Africa we literally share a border so on today's episode we are gonna be talking about you know their inter-african marriage talk about the cultural differences and everything in between so stay tuned and remember one love one africa all right mali um welcome to love beyond borders how are you doing i'm good thank you thank you so much for having me i was so excited when you were like reached out and you said hey how about we do a collab? Yeah. So I'm very excited about this, my episode. Yes. <laughs> By the way, you guys, Mbali is also a, new, uh, a YouTuber. I'm going to link her channel down below. Go and watch it. She's amazing. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I love your motherhood content. <laughs> and um, Bali, you are married to a man from um, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe, right? Yes. But before we dive into, you know, the cultural differences and the gist of, you know, the whole story, mm -hmm. um, first introduce yourself to us, to the viewers. Let us know who's Mbali uh -huh. and your surname is Chitsika. Chit yes, Chitsika. 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 Yes. Show uh, people, <laughs> comment down below, okay? Show Mbali some love. Yes, yes. <laughs> Hi, guys. My name is Mbali Chitsika. Mm -hmm. I am... 30 years old mm -hmm. and I am a Swati speaking queen yes. from Pumalanga <laughs> from Pumalanga and yeah I hope you guys enjoy this episode mm -hmm. and what else yeah I'm, a, I'm married to a Zimbabwean handsome young man and we have been married for probably seven oh i'm lying guys <laughs> five years we've been married for five years but mm -hmm. we've been like together for 10 years this wow, year. yes. wow and we've got one child and mm -hmm. she's our beautiful daughter well yeah. i love her name what's her name please oh it's such a beautiful Fadziso name means Happin happiness uh -huh. yes and yeah that's that's me in a nutshell <laughs> okay yes now mbali um i understand you from Pomalanga, right yes um i want to know your family background and were you exposed to foreign nationals growing up um where i grew up like i grew up elokshini like, mm, okay so there weren't I, I won't say there were really a lot of foreign nationals i was like exposed to mm -hmm. in fact there wasn't there wasn't like little yeah, to nothing there was little to nothing mm. maybe that one person but i don't even recall yeah anyone from when i was young who was a foreign national mm -hmm. um in my family absolutely no and so also where i'm from now spread it's a very small town yeah yeah so everyone knew everyone i don't know about now i think now yeah. people still everyone knows everyone okay so, okay there's like a little to oh yes the foreign nationals would see are from maputo from oh, Mozambique from Mo mm. because um we are the border that side there's, oh yeah, there's okay a couple of borders from that side so mm. those i would say but i wouldn't say anyone like in particular okay okay um my aunt is married to a foreign national but i don't even consider him foreign national because mm. he also grew up the side from young oh, age okay, okay his dad is Mozambican but mm, okay yeah I, so that's why I, I don't think I consider wanna, him okay a foreign national. so you, you were not really exposed to foreign nationals no, growing up no no now you come the side for school obviously yes. right 
now you get to be exposed to other nationals and yes. other African nationals. Yes. What was your view of them prior to you actually getting to know them, getting to interact with them, and prior to you meeting your husband? Excuse me, I don't think I had, I don't think I had like preconceived notions or mm -hmm. anything like that. Mm. Um, I just, I just thought they were cool, and I think I, I found it cool that I was friends with people from other countries yeah and these are people you made it in yeah varsity. i met them in varsity um so for me it was like oh cool i know people from zimbabwe <laughs> i know people from mm. uh, lesotho like for me it was like cool because yeah. growing up in a small town you, you only, only know think, each other yes, you only think mm. that's all there is to life yeah and then when you get exposed to people you're like oh wow there's like a whole new yeah world mm. so for me that's i didn't, I, didn't, I don't think i had any no i didn't i don't wow. want to lie yeah no i didn't have any wow wow that's interesting conceived notions about and them. you're now married to a zimbabwean man yes i am how did you guys meet i'm we, very interested to really, know mm -hmm. we met at church oh wow yes, we really met, we met at church so even with the friends that i um kept at that time mm -hmm. who are foreign nationals they also went to the same to the same church like okay. campus church okay yes um on campus so we'd all just like hang out and we we're a group of friends mm. um and we were actually friends for like probably over a year before mm -hmm. i even thought hmm, this guy you know he could actually <laughs> be more than just a friend <laughs> wow yeah so we were friends we're like and we were like really good friends because he was mm. almost like a brother to me oh wow yeah I took like him, a brother from church yes I took, you know, <laughs> brother you know, joshua yeah, exactly, you know you know you know i would understand so mm. i took him like a a brother from mm. church because mm. he i think also because he had the caring spirit so he yeah. was always looking after other people that's sweet so I just he's he just had a nice personality but mm. like in a friendly way not in a like you yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah that's beautiful mm. and now um you introduce him to your family and how did they receive him knowing that he's not from nail spread where everybody knows was, everyone i think it was a bit tough i don't want to say it was tough mm. but it was awkward in the sense that i remember i'm sorry to expose my <laughs> one of my aunts <laughs> i don't even know if she still remembers what she said to me but yeah when i rem i remember when i told her that no um josh is from i've got a boyfriend and he's from mm. zim mm. she was like are you sure he doesn't want to take like get citizenship Ooh, because yeah. i think at mm. the time there was that thing of like foreign, foreign nationals, nationals marrying south africans yeah, for yeah. citizenship yeah so i was like no he's not he's a student like me and mm. he's studying accounting i think <laughs> after that yeah, she was like oh okay uh. <laughs> so i think she sort of mm. like calmed calmed down and i think when i introduced them to him he was already working he had already oh, okay. finished his degree i was still busy in with school. mine yes okay. i was still busy with mine so but i think the rest of my family no one really said anything like funny to me mm -hmm. um but i remember my grandmother saying zimbabweans are very hard working i've been exposed to mm. a few zimbabweans that and they speak good english mm. and she was just like i love robert mugabe mm. so <laughs> Y'all know Robert Mugabe and the English, okay? You know, that man was very educated, very by the way. Educated. Mm. So there were those that were like, for, like, oh wow, that's nice. Mm, mm. Uh, probably because I wasn't the first one to, um, in my family to have like to a, be with a foreign national. Yes, to be with a oh, foreign national. Because your aunt was with that man from yes, Maputo. Yes. Uh, and then, how did his family receive you? How did he introduce you to his family? Were they this side or they were in Zim? So his aunt actually mm. went to campus church with us oh okay. so i knew his aunt obviously before we started dating mm -hmm. his aunt and uncle went to campus church mm -hmm. and then they were there so they knew me mm -hmm. but um they were just like oh okay we know mbali anyway yeah she's a she's, a, she's an okay girl mm. she's, she's a decent girl yeah. i'll just put it yeah. like that mm. so um he did say that his grandmother would be like no you must marry a zimbabwe <laughs> but she she didn't say it in a way that was like i don't want a south african okay yes okay. because mm. his older brother was actually married to a south african oh at that, okay, okay. She's, he's so it was married. nothing new yes yeah, so it wasn't anything new for them. for them yeah but he did say that a lot of zimbabwean people have like preconceived ideas about south african women mm, mm. and True. that they they just 
feisty mm -hmm. and you know they don't want to listen yeah to yeah. rules and all those things so you know you know where i think that comes from right yeah i think it comes from the way um zimbabwean women are raised you know yes. how south african women we are yeah, raised the cultural difference yes. you know th there are some um, countries where women are literally trained to be wives exactly like you know, homemakers, homemakers yes. you know whereas um a with lot us. of with us here we're not really trained no. to be homemakers you no, understand not anymore. yes yes yeah, yes not anymore, not anymore. It's, it's not so like when they meet people like us you know dressed in sleeveless yeah, shirts, so, dressed you know, in mini yes, skirts. Yes, that's what I want to say. Like, Zimbabweans are more conservative. Yes, yes, they are. As opposed to us, like, mm. we're more liberal. Like, for them, things like, you got a tattoo, yes. you know? For them, it's like a big thing. You got a thing. nose ring. Yes, for them, it's a big thing. <laughs> but for mm, us, true. it's just like, it's a way of life. Yeah, it's Even normal. Even with makeup mm, and, you know, all true, those things. True, for them, it's true. like, ah. You know, you can't. Are you sure she's a good wife? Yes. Is she wife material yeah, enough? This one is just gonna be, uh, you know. Uh, <laughs> no, so. um, fair enough. So they did mm. um, um, receive you well, yes. and yeah, yes. Just a little, you know. Yeah, just a little misconceptions yeah, of South African of women. Is, how is she? Will we be able to get along with her? <laughs> type of thing. Yeah. But other yeah. than that, I don't think it. Was, I didn't feel it too much. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. You, you guys, your introductions seem very smooth, yes. right? but now we won't take away the fact that you are South African and yes. he's from Zimbabwe and yes. both of you guys have different cultures right mm. so now you guys are married it's the Lobola time were there any cultural differences between um, in how you do things as paying Lobola getting married and what, what were those things and how did you guys overcome them so there are actually a lot of differences like in Zimbabwean culture mm -hmm. excuse me before you get married mm -hmm they take you to the man's uh, like you come with your family mm -hmm. so before they even send a letter is it before they send a letter which i can't remember yeah i think it's zimbabweans if you're here please help us out in the comment section it's a bit vague for me yeah but the, the whole point is that um you go to the husband's family with okay. your representatives okay so i went to them with my sister mm -hmm. um my two aunts no my aunt by one aunt mm -hmm. my two grandmothers um family members from jo josh's side because he has family this side okay so we all went to zim so they go there so that you can go see where your husband is from okay okay that's and beautiful to also see you know because this is when this is where now it's revealed to, does your husband have, have another, another wife, wife? <laughs> does your husband have other kids you know yeah. does he have a you know a small house or you know like those type of things to mm. see where he's from and their culture mm. so that when they come and lobola you you know what you're getting yourself yeah into. yeah they that's beautiful that these are this is where we're from this is our land mm. and you know all those things but um it was quite a nice like a really nice experience wow so wow. i would say that's the first um cultural difference mm -hmm. um the second one i'm trying to think now after you they do the introduction do they now come to your family yes. to pay lobola yes so they send the letter so now when it came so what we did was that when it came to um the lobola they mm -hmm. would follow our oh your tradition yes our oh, tradition okay, so well, anytime we went enough. to do the like to their um house mm -hmm. then we'd have to follow the zimbabwean just so everyone you know gets a oh gets okay a, so that's how we, we so you both it. incorporated your yes. tradition and your husband's yes. tradition together yes. that's so beautiful that people don't feel left out because obviously mm. we're coming from two Different, different cultures yeah yeah yes, yes. and you know um one thing that i always tell people is that we are so much alike mm. as africans mm. we follow the same thing it's just the nitty-gritty yeah, things that a are a little bit different mm. but we do things the same way basically yes. you know and it's just so beautiful how much we're just so much alike exactly. <laughs> okay and um you 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 went to zim during your lobola um um well during before, your yeah. before your lobola yes, right yes. did you go again any other time to get to know and get to know Zimbabwean people? I went before we got married when mm -hmm. I was still a girlfriend mm -hmm. for a baby girl yes. <laughs> <laughs> for his sister's wedding mm -hmm. and then <gasps> Zimbabwean weddings. Yes. I love them. I love them. Yo, step. they can dance. Yeah, ah! step. <laughs> Step, Jay, oh just if you goodness. say the step, because he says the step is the wedding. It's important. Yes, Listen, is, and I love how they have so many. <laughs> like, like, like the bridal <laughs> team is like 
it's humongous like literally you've got like 50 people exactly like yo it's beautiful like, what's going on but it's, it's so beautiful it is the dance <laughs> exactly ah uh, the step sham is very important yo, very <laughs> so but um yeah that was the first time i yeah, went yeah and then we went the second time for like to get introduced mm-hmm. to the family mm-hmm. and then the third time was unfortunately when we had to go for a funeral so i've only been oh. three times oh that's yeah. nice that's nice I mean, it's not bad if we've been married for five years mm. you know, no it's not bad at yeah, all it's not bad, it's not bad. If count covid then <laughs> you know <laughs> Okay, and you are Swati. Mm-hmm. Your husband is Shona. What language do you guys communicate in, first of all? English. Thank the Lord for English. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> because it was going to be a struggle. Exactly. But we do have, like, say, for instance, when we're talking and we're, like, making jokes, mm. we do have those Mo- moments mm. where he'll say, like, a word in Shona, and it's, like, funny and Shona, or I'll say it in Swati, because mm. it's funny and Swati, mm. but our main communication it's english yeah it's english okay i have sorry i have people who are like english all the time every day can never be me <laughs> but like i feel like because i, I just got used to it mm, you get school, used to it I yeah used to like in high school mm. from primary high school so i just got used to it so i mm. think that's why it was just like ah, okay whatever okay now you guys have got a daughter Yes, Fuzzy. Like a beautiful baby. Oh, she's and not a baby anymore. Though. Yeah, she's a big girl. Okay, yeah. she goes to school. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> All right, you guys have a, have a baby. Is it important? You, obviously, you guys speak to him in. Sorry, speak to her in English, right? No, actually, you don't. We don't. Are you serious? No, we don't. So when we got pregnant, we made a conscious decision that wow. we want her to speak our languages mm, mm. so from birth i've been speaking to her in swati and wow, josh has wow. been speaking to her in shona, shona. wow so at wow. home we don't speak english the only english she'll hear is from when you speak together yes when we're communicating mm, the two of us mm. but with her because she hears us both mm, wow so it's, it's like wow. so weird i don't know kids are just and they're very smart they hey? are very they're smart very, very because smart. her dad will say something to her in shona mm like go pick up something whatever she'll go and she'll bring mm. it back mm. and then maybe i'll say fazi as i'm your kids i was just saying let's go bath mm. yes and then she'll just go like she understands that is both so of us. beautiful so it's so and but i love it because mm. i get to learn more of shona and josh gets exactly. to learn more of what i'm saying that's actually well. a good idea yes. hey that's like i love the language aspect by mm. the way thank you it's beautiful to have children that know multiple languages yes, it's you. absolutely beautiful mm. there's power in knowing languages guys true. absolutely Very true. so is it important for you guys to instill um swati you know swati values swati culture is it like do you is it a conscious thing that you that you want to train your child the way you were trained the way your husband incorporate his your husband's culture as well teach her the the, the shona way um, let her know that your dad is from Zimbabwe, your mom is from South Africa, you are an inter African baby. Yes. I think yes. <laughs> you are a love beyond borders yes, baby. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like it is very important for us to for her to know like both aspects of like the cultures. Mm, mm. But at the same time, me and her dad my, her dad and I mm. are not uh, like very cultural people. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're not like into a lot of culture. We're, I, we're growing up Western, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But the little that we do know, we want to share that with her. We mm. want her to know how Zimbabweans or Shonas do certain things. Mm. And we want her to know how Swatis do certain things. We want her to know those differences okay. and for her to know, you know, both. Okay. So it's important mm. for us. Okay. Yes. No, that's, no, that's, yes. that's fair enough. That's yeah. fair enough. I think it's also very important to not lose, you know, our cultures, mm-hmm. you know, and our kids don't even know that my mom is Venda, exactly. my dad is Yoruba, you know, my exactly. dad is Shona whatsoever. They need to know and you need to teach them, you know. And I feel like there's so much beauty in culture like, so beautiful so we, beautiful like we yes there are certain things where you're like this is not necessary yeah 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 but i feel like the whole concept of african cultures is just so beautiful absolutely beautiful and there's so many things that you can learn from it mm. or ways of doing things yes, so yes. even in that aspect jay we just want her to know the beauty of her traditions and mm. how beautiful it is so that mm. she's not like oh no i don't do that you know <laughs> but yeah 
And um, being with the Zimbabwean men, there's a lot of myths around Zimbabwean people. Um, what myths have you discovered to be true or false about them? Well, um, I'm not sure if it's a myth, but like I said, like I mentioned with my grandmother, my mm -hmm. grandmother always said that Zimbabwean men are hardworking, mm -hmm. which I see through my husband. Mm. Like my husband no, they are shame. They is are. a hard worker. Anyone who knows him or anyone who comes across him knows that he is like a worker mm, mm. so that for me was one aspect and also the fact that they speak good english look that one is a bit <laughs> you know <laughs> look they know english mm, they mm. definitely know how to communicate in yes, english because i yes. know like some south africans um can't really communicate in english, in english yeah yes mm. but they do have a funny accent you know <laughs> I love I love accents by the way. Yes. I love Zimbabwean and also another thing about me is that I can pick up blank, um accents. accents. I can pick up where you come from from your accents. Is it? Yeah, I love Zimbabwean accents. <laughs> so some of the accents uh you know yeah. they can be a bit funny but mm. they know how to communicate in English. Yeah. So yeah. That for me was something that I also found to be true. So those two mm -hmm. yeah, but others I don't know there's also a myth that Zimbabwean men Zimbabwean men have wives and <laughs> Second, second, from, yes. What do they call it? Second homes or second wives? Yeah, or, something like yeah. that. So at back small home, ho small yes. house. <laughs> no, back home they'll have the main wife, and then when they come the side, <laughs> you turn out to be the side. I don't know how true that is because mm. I mean I'm not exposed to a lot of Zimbabwean men. Yeah, yeah. So hey, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I've heard of it as well, but I haven't heard. I don't know anyone personally, yes. that, and I know a lot of Zimbabweans, but I don't know any that had a wife there and yes. come here. And most of them. When they come here, they are single and then they'll get a wife here mm. or oh, they they'll come with their yes, wives here. Yes, yeah. The I ones I know. Yes. Let us know guys in the comment section <laughs> if you <laughs> disagree and if you know something that we don't. Comment in the, let, let us know in the comment section. <laughs> okay, in Bali, we know that in South Africa um we have xenophobia, right? Unfortunately. Uh, unfortunately, you know. Has your husband been um, a victim of xenophobia, whether it verbally or um physically? Uh, yeah, he has. Mm. Um, he has not physically, mm -hmm. um, but for him, he says that people sometimes like making these funny comments mm. that mm. obviously don't sit him, like they don't sit well with him. Mm. Mm. So verbally, yes, he has. Uh, physically not so much but obviously it he has been scared to like travel to certain areas because oh yeah because of it yeah but mostly it's verbal mm -hmm. yeah F funny enough from um what's this white counterparts for real yeah wow yeah wow yeah. wow sure yes there are black counterparts who like say it but like mostly it's sometimes mm. yeah mm, sure no, that's, the white people that's very sad i really yeah. wish um as a nation we can do better hey no, i not. really wish we can do better and i mean they are people they're human sure. beings you it's know sad. i still find it very funny that we look at zimbabweans and see foreign nationals zimbabweans that's guys so they're just yeah next like, door it's, like it's so weird i would never understand maybe because i was i was exposed to a lot of zimbabweans growing up because i, I grew up that, yeah. right next to the zimbabwean border you know i like literally i've got a i've got this huge but like for me that's like what you're saying mm. for me it's like for me it's it's just someone else who's black yeah i don't see them mm. as a yo like they're my brothers and sisters yeah, you know so like i hey, well. i don't I, i'll never understand it you know not that i understand every other every other african country <laughs> but Zimbabweans, it doesn't make sense Next for me door. i know a lady who's but Zimbabwean. they don't do it with sutu or the, so um lesotho people or Swaziland actually people. recently they have been really? i was very shocked that south african people that say people so from lesotho are foreign nationals people from swaziland are foreign really? nationals i'm like ha ah, ah, no, guys how no. oh, are the hate is too know, much no. yo uh-uh no it really doesn't make sense lesotho i mean it's within south africa exactly. swaziland is within south africa no, they are foreign nationals i get out of here sense, man <laughs> get I, out of here someone tried to make sense to me and say no read the definition in the in the dictionary what is foreign national i'm just like girl get out of here i'm not defined yeah, by no dictionary book, but okay I mean, yeah and that's man uh, yeah, white made. exactly man -made. exactly it's white made thank you so but like for me it, it just it just doesn't make sense it doesn't. if anything i see 
the white mm, more as for foreign. more foreign exactly yes, because they don't look like me yeah, <laughs> but an, a fellow african oh well, guys let's yeah, do better no let's guys. do better hey mm -mm, mm -mm. yo i mm -mm. and um being with the zimbabwean man what has been the hardest part about being with him mm, i think like you're saying when when the like xenophobics attacks um start up yeah that to me is always like a worry mm, you know mm. if he goes to work will be will like, he be okay yeah will he even come back yeah you know things mm. like that mm. uh, like like you say a lot of the times that's when these snacks comments always come up yeah and you can see that he's not okay mm, you know mm, things mm. like that um i would say that would be the, the hardest the hardest, yeah, the mm, hardest. Mm. do you do you sometimes let's say you're in a in a space where people are discussing foreign nationals or, or criticizing foreign nationals have you ever been in such a space do you ever interact with people to say or try to defend foreign nationals or try to defend zimbabweans whether it be on social media or you know um live i think on social media on social media i try not to engage especially mm. because you can't have a conversation with someone who like one they don't you don't know the full story thank you like there's half truths on there yeah yeah so it's difficult to have a proper discussion mm, mm, you know yeah and in I my agree. circles like i said i have friends who are foreign nationals mm, so mm. for us like we we speak about the difficulties there are difficulties yeah yeah um, for sure that foreign nationals face mm. and it's unfortunate that you obviously you can see that their pain is being inflicted by people that you know mm, you know mm. but also like i say on social media there's like a there's sometimes like a lot of not sometimes there's a lot of lies mm, mm. you know on true, there true. And, and you don't know if it's the truth like sometimes when you hear that they burned i don't know they burned people yeah you know yeah and you ask yourself is or you see the videos and you ask yourself is this an old video mm, is it new is it what's new? happening what's yeah. happening mm. because most of the people that i am surrounded by mm don't see anything wrong with foreign nationals so mm. it's a it and to not say would see those things aren't happening yeah, yeah but it becomes difficult to fathom that there are people who genuinely feel so negatively about foreign nationals mm. you know mm. so in my spaces we do have those tough conversations but and you know what the worst part is what what i feel is also sad is mm. that the same people or some people are like yeah no they must go but you've got a zimbabwean helper yeah it's like you can't have your cake and eat it you must know what you're saying and you like the idea that those guys are there because you can pay them a lower wage yeah Ooh. and you can exploit them mm. which is the mm. other reason why like when we were talking earlier and mm. we we're talking about maids i don't have a maid because i feel like if i have one i need to be able to pay them mm, decent above money base, yeah above minimum mm, wage absolutely yeah. you know mm. so i feel like people pick and choose sometimes yeah they do and speaking about that right i know a community where um they're very xenophobic it's a township they're very mm. xenophobic they're always fighting foreign foreigners they're always there stoning them and doing whatever you know but i remember during covid there were a group of um foreign nationals to be specific nigerians that actually collected money and went to buy groceries for this particular community i'm talking about Ninja. and the way they were like thank you they were on their oh, knees guys. saying thank you some were crying but when it's time for xenophobia they are the first and ones yeah, to be which is so sad it is so it's sad really and i'm just so like sad. seriously but what, I, what i will say is that i feel like it's like most things in the world it's politically driven yes absolutely and someone is gaining absolutely. from all of this absolutely and unfortunately mm. they're using mm. people from the township people to, on the ground are the yes, ones suffering exactly mm. so that's why i don't like engaging into these things too much yeah. because it, it's almost like there's a force there that has an extra hand but mm. it's not really clear so you don't really know what's happening mm, you know true 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 so it's tough it's Ooh, a, it's very tough mm, it's very tough mm. and sure not all south africans are, 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 are xenophobic you know mm. so i mean I, you do you do hear like most of us aren't mm. but at the same time i don't want to dismiss um what's the south africans who say they're taking our jobs mm. i don't necessarily think they're taking our jobs it was i don't want to say it was easy but it was made possible by the south african government Thank so again you. like i say it's politically 
driven. driven. And how do they enter South Africa without without uh, papers? Yeah. How, who allowed them to come into South Africa without papers? South they Africans. Are, exactly, so fight them, not, you know. So like, that's, this, this topic is like very, very complex, it which is. is why I don't like having discussions with people online. Because yeah, yeah. Foreign policy is a very like extensive topic. You very, can't just put one very, comment and you've mm. summed up everything. It's very, it's very complex. So, yeah. um, I could talk and go on forever and ever about this because like it's really something that needs to be spoken yeah, about you true. know that's and some people true. might misinterpret what we're even exactly. saying right now you know exactly. but if you guys um, do disagree or agree please let's have a healthy conversation mm. in the comment section let's not insult each other I okay love that healthy conversation. <laughs> yes. it's okay to disagree yeah. it's okay for you to say oh no because I was having a discussion with somebody else, right? And I said, you know what? I understand that maybe you are a parent and um, uh, your daughter was was human trafficked mm. or you know someone that was human mm. trafficked by a Nigerian. So your hate comes from, from that, that. Yeah. you know? So we won't take away that, you know, there are real stories yeah. of people saying, Definitely. you know, this one did this. And mm. with the recent uh, guy in Zimbabwe, uh, he's a Zimbabwean guy that apparently murdered about seven people. Sure. I'm not too sure if it's true, but this is what's happening on social media that he murdered seven people sure, in Polokwane. And oh, you I can imagine that, that those, those people that he murdered, if yeah. he did really murder them, their oh. family members definitely hate um, yeah. um, Zimb Zimbabweans. And also, <laughs> I've got a friend. <laughs> I've got a friend who is South African. Uh -huh. He was dating a South African. His, his girlfriend was dating. He was dating a, a South African girl, mm. Swati. Also, by oh, the way. <laughs> and his girlfriend. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, I'm so mean for laughing. You now his girlfriend <laughs> was snatched from him <gasps> by a Congolese oh. man. That guy hates foreign nationals. <laughs> And that's his reason. Oh, okay. he, yo, he doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> so people come from different backgrounds, and, yes, and some people are just, holes. are just bitter, angry yeah. people. You know. Yeah. Now the exciting part, right? Yeah. How do you guys navigate food in your home? Um, do you, did you learn how to make some of the Zimbabwean dishes? No, <laughs> I have not <laughs> learned how to make Zimbabwean dishes. <laughs> how but do you navigate it? Uh, here's why, mm -hmm. Josh. It grew up very English. Okay, okay. I eat more traditional food than he does. He oh. doesn't even like uh, insides. I'm a hood. Yes. Oh, tribe. He, yeah, tribe. Thank mm. you. He doesn't even like that. He doesn't even like runaways. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm out one. He doesn't like any of that please, food. Please ask him if he likes mat matemba. Matemba. Mat mat it's this little small fishes. I think he does, yes. Yo, Zimbabwe does, love, he love matemba. He, he doesn't. Mm. He doesn't eat it. Like I said, he grew up very English, okay. so he is used to eating like I don't want to say normal food, mm -hmm. <laughs> but like yeah. But also, rice. Zimbabwean food is very similar to our food. Exactly. Mm. That's what, the mm. other thing. It's extremely like even with sadza because they call pap sadza. Yeah, yeah. Excuse me. I make when I make it, I make it for myself. Oh. He doesn't even eat sadza. Are you serious? Yeah. Like Josh is. I don't know. He's just weird. <laughs> so when I whatever I cook, he eats. Mm. There's nothing like I want. Mm. No, he doesn't. Okay. He doesn't have any of that. And that's very understandable. Uh, also, because I mean, like I said, we are more alike than yeah, different. Yeah. You know, he doesn't. Their food is almost exactly like ours they do have their little um delicacies here you know there, here and yes. there but most of it is exactly mm -hmm. the same as ours and Zimbabwean food i know when they cook um i think it's beef and they mix it with um morojo yeah like spinach yes, oh that's so yummy they call it goulash. <laughs> yeah actually nigerians have something similar um but they don't cook it the same way but they've got something similar as well you know is it even us in south africa we but even when i cook i add spinach to yeah my, yeah it's not a lot like them but yeah I but mean, yeah it's... no we actually are the same yeah like i think there's a lot of similarities with <laughs> mm. zimbabweans like they i they that's are. why i don't feel like there's a big difference it doesn't feel like i'm married to a foreign national yeah most of the time. yeah Mm, yeah. that's beautiful yeah. Mbali we can talk forever yes. and never ever finish okay <laughs> yes because we had such a long conversation right? before <laughs> recording okay Mbali um, thank you so much for coming through thank you I really appreciate you for having me. you here do you have any last words 
I want to say thank you for having me mm -hmm. and yeah I was just so excited about you know her interviewing me <laughs> I was excited to have you thank you thank you, thank you. <laughs> all right guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't forget Mbali has got a channel as well her channel is Mbali Chitika yes yes I'm gonna put her channel in the description box don't forget to subscribe to her channel like her videos engage in her videos okay <laughs> and all of that good stuff thank you anyways uh, guys see you on the next episode and remember one love one africa okay bye bye guys